Food stamps can no longer be used to buy steamed crabs, and that's creating worries for retailers and the watermen who supply them. Alex Dimitri reports it's the latest hit to Maryland's seafood industry. Steamed crabs are cooked in hundreds of Maryland carryouts, but they can no longer be purchased with food stamps. At Al's Seafood in Essex, we will kind of push through it. It's the local waterman and a consumer who's going to get hit the worst out of all of it. Chad Strakowski says food stamps can buy uncooked crabs, but when they're steamed, we're considered a quote unquote a whole restaurant. Our carryout's a restaurant now, so that knocks us out. This crab season, the Trump administration issued seasonal worker visas by lottery for the first time. Half the Eastern Shore picking houses got the visas, and half did not. And it's hurting more than the houses. Watermen are coming in and say, Hey, can you take my crab? Can you take my crabs? I say, I have no pickers. I, what can I do with the crabs? The same trickle down could result from fewer steamed crabs being bought with food stamps. People have this thought that, you know, somebody using that to pay for crabs, they get the biggest crabs, the biggest shrimp, and all that. No, they usually get the females, the smaller crabs. Which typically works out to a $20 purchase. But for watermen, those smaller crabs are often the bulk of their catch. If low income customers can no longer buy them, that means guess what? We're going to put that waterman out of business. Not going to be as busy. So, guess what? All of our crab houses were hiring less people this year. Retailers say the loss of food stamp sales could impact total sales by up to a third. I would say at least that, if not in certain areas, maybe half of the business. Alex Dimitri, WJZ. The crab carryouts were told they must provide a variety of food staples, not just crabs, to qualify for food stamp transactions.